Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Shah Weekly. And in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a list in Sif UI, which is able to perform a navigation action. But if you do a long press gesture, then it can also show you a modal sheet. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, the first thing we need to do is to show some sort of a list with some items in it. The quickest way is to simply go through a list of, let's say, 20 different items or 20 different integers and display that list. So let me go ahead and build that particular list. We will say item, number, and then we can simply inject the value of the index, item number one, and so on. If you want, you can also change the background color just to see that what is the actual size of this particular label. So let's go ahead and say gray. Okay, so we want this label to expand completely, filling the whole row or the width of the row. Uh, multiple ways of doing that. We can go ahead and set the frame for this for a maximum width of infinity. And the alignment, since we want our text to be aligned left to right, we can do like this. Now you can remove the background color. It's not really needed, but I'll just keep it there. Okay. So now we want to perform navigation. And in order to perform navigation, it's a good idea to use a navigation stack in iOS 16. You can also use navigation view, but that is going away as we move forward. Now, since we want to perform a navigation on the tap gesture and also want to do the long press gesture, we will have to do it in a little bit of a different way. So, if I simply go ahead and mark this or enclose this with a navigation link, then it will perform the navigation, but it won't do the long press gesture. All right, so if you want to do that, you can definitely try it out, but you will see that it will not work in both cases. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and add a tab gesture for the text. And when you tap on a particular text, what we are going to do is we are going to add a particular path to our navigation path. So we will have to perform this dynamically. So I'm going to go ahead and create a state path, and this will be path of integers. This means that any time you're gonna change this path, the navigation will happen. So let's go ahead and put path and pass a binding to be path. Now, in order to perform this navigation, when, the, when we tap on the text, we will change this path by adding something to the path. So append the index. Index, by the way, is an integer, which is from 1 to 20. Whenever we attach this or whenever we append an index to the path, the path changes. And now the navigation stack is going to look for, oh, where do I want to go now, right? but it's not really going to find that place because we haven't really implemented the navigation destination. So let's go ahead and add navigation destination, which is looking for a special data type for integer. And once we get that, we can take it to a different view. You can call this view anything you want, but I'm just gonna show a text view. All right. Now let's go ahead and click on it. And you can see that it's actually performing this navigation. Okay, that looks pretty good. But if we perform a long press, nothing really happens. Well, the reason is that we haven't even implemented the long press gesture. So let's go ahead and add a long press gesture. And since we want to show a modal, we will add another property over here called is presented and change this property to true. Is presented to true. And we can add a sheet. Right at the bottom, we can add a sheet, which is going to take the bindable expression is presented and the content view in this case, meaning the actual content you want to display. I'm just gonna go ahead and display a text view, but this can be any view that you want. And there we go. So let's go ahead and check out our navigation. Actually, right now the content view is still being refreshed. So we're gonna wait a little bit, I guess. But let's go ahead and press long press. Okay, there we go. So long press is actually definitely working it out. And you can see 
that it is showing us the sheet. So now we can perform different operations. There we go. Looks pretty good, working as expected. So if you have a scenario where you want to tap and go to a different sc screen, meaning a navigation, and you also want the list item to be added to a different kind of a gesture, like a long press, then you can use this kind of code to work around that problem. Hope you like it. Thank you so much. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my Udemy courses. I just published a brand new course called MV Design Pattern in iOS. This is the way that Apple is building their Swift UI applications. So definitely check it out. If you're interested in augmented reality, then check out my course, Building Augmented Reality Apps in Reality Kit and AR Kit. And I have a lot of courses on uh, Swift UI, MVVM design pattern with UI Kit, RX Swift, even the Core Data course. If you're interested in Core Data, definitely check that one out also. A lot of courses, check out the YouTube description where I have linked all of these courses. And please use those links. Those are referral links. So they will give you a little bit more discount, hopefully. And uh, when you use those links, then I get to keep a little bit more higher revenue. Thank you so much.